What's up guys, Steve Figuring Up here. In this video, I'm going to do a swap of the vest from the older crossbones to the new crossbones figure. Now, I'm just going to use this SDCC version because this first Ares BAF Wave version is exactly the same. So I'll just use one of them is enough. So let's take out the vest. So there's actually a kind of button over here that you can remove. And that's it. You can just slide it out. It's pretty much easy. And you can see inside that I think it looks, it has the um, appearance of the Hulkling vest. Yeah. The Hulkling attire inside. So yeah, here's the vest. This head is of course bigger than the older crossbones figure. So it, you can't put it inside straight away. We need to take this off. And put it inside. And the thing about this vest is that it follows the shape of this body and you can see how big the hands are compared to this figure over here so yeah look at that it doesn't really fit well at all and also that it has this belt with the holster i'll try to push it down as much as i can this belt is not removable by the way and there you have it so you can see that is really oversized you can look at the gap over here from the front it might look kind of okay but you can actually see how high the vest goes yeah it really it doesn't actually look good in hand at all so you can see how big the gap here is to accom this gap is to accommodate this big oops ah this big gap at the vest over here is to accommodate these big deltoids the top part of the arm over here so yeah you can see that it's really oversized on this it, he looks like he's wearing a life vest which is too big for his size yep anyways for at the same time i also wonder whether um if there's no strap would he look would the vest actually fit it better so i'm going to make use of this Hyperion figure, which is exactly the same body mold, and see if it fits him nicely because this figure, this Hyperion figure, doesn't have a belt obstructing. So, yeah, let's take off the cape. So, you can see now why there's two holes at the back. Oh yeah, and I was saying about the hole just now. So that's why there's also a hole over here at this crossbone figure because it's based on this Hyperion body mold. So you can see that even when there's no belt and the holster over here, okay, see that still doesn't fit nicely. There's still a big gap over here and it's more clearly seen because this body is red in color and not black. Yeah. So bottom line, it does not fit. So yeah, I think some collectors are trying to find um, a vest because the shoulders are kind of huge over here and it makes his make him look a bit like uh, long-necked a bit. Is there any other vest that is able to fit this figure? Stay tuned for another video that I'm going to make. Thanks for watching this video. Do hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. Take care everyone.